hello my dear viewers you are welcome to my channel today this video is about how to cut a long sleeve and its cuffs okay let's get started this is how i fold we fold to the back all right this is my measurement book we have the sleeve length to be 22 the muzzle to be 12 and the wrist 9 then the arm hole or the armpit to be 16 there is something i need to explain here the sleeve length is 22 normal length and when you add the cuff to that 22 directly it will make it longer than the person's hand and then covering the person's hand more than expected right like to extend to this level where this place will be covered so what do we do to that is to the original length which is 22 we're gonna take out three you might lose three from it you might lose three then add one understand you add one to it for the what for the sewing allowance like when you want to join it so you add one to it Okay, now let's take the measurement. Take the measurement here. Uh, here I have 22. So I mark the 22. And then from the 22, I take work 1, 2, and 3. So minus 3. I will have 19 as a re measurement now so that by the time we add the cuff length it will complete 22 then to the 19 you add one you add one for the joining allowance so when you want to join it you have enough to not shorten the main length okay now we have to measure the muzzle so the muzzle is 12 when we have 6 that is 12 divided by 2 we give us 6 and then to the 6 we add 1 making 7 then to that 7 we add another 2 for allowance when we want to so so we give 2 for allowance that will be approximately 9 Then the next thing is the cuff, where the hand will be joined to the shoulder. So we usually measure that. You come down here, you come down to the, yeah, to the down part, and then measure five inches constant. So always five inches, five inches. Then from the, from the five inches, we are going to draw a curve draw a curve to meet to meet the five inches so draw it clearly so you draw a curve like this next will be the wrist we measure the wrist which is the where the curve we join so the wrist is a uh, nine and we have nine Point four point five. So to the four point five, we add one. We add one to make it five point five, and then add another two for allowance for the sewing allowance. Add two, like we always added to the other measurement we did earlier. So we add two for the sewing allowance. that is it so now let's join I join the points I join them together so I have the shape so I can easily cut it out okay now it's time for us to cut the hand the sleeve sorry I always use the word hand 
let's cut this lead now so we cut from those points where you marked and we'll have it so you can see the shape the shape this is how it's going to look like after cutting when you cut it will look this way perfect remember you are going to cut two you're going to make it two for the two hands i already cut one so next thing will be cutting the cuff the cuff which is nine inches so we're going to measure 11 that is we're adding two to the nine inches for the allowance we make it 11 and then to the cuff itself remember i told you we have three we're making it three but to the three we're going to double it like because you're going to fold it you make it six that will be times two three times two six so and to the six now we add half yes for the joining we are going to see all these things where we are going where we'll be joining it to the hand to the sleeve so we come this side again and measure 6.5 we come this side also and measure 6.5 Then we join them together. Join them carefully and straight. Okay, so after joining, you cut. You cut it straight and properly. So with this now we have the cuff being cut out and then the next thing will be the flap for the closing of the cuff yes this is what we're going to use to close the opening that will be at the cuff there's always an opening there where we join the cuff so this will be the the flap or the placket to cover it so this is how we cut we fold it by two and then cut this way cut like this and then you go straight this way and then you have it you have this shape this is the shape you're going to have this shape which will now fold later fold it later on and then make it to your desirable size before you now use it to cover the cuff so my next video will be how i'm going to be preparing this cuff and the placket to join it to the sleeve there are preparation before joining them thanks <laughs>